Hey everyone, if you're having issues getting your Wii U games to run on the Steam Deck, then this is the video for you. The very first thing that you want to make sure you have is MU Deck installed. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to download SimU, which is the emulator, and it's going to configure it for the Steam Deck so you don't have to do any of that extra settings work, anything like that beforehand. So the biggest problem that a lot of people have is with the games, and it gets really complicated and confusing because there's so many different file types and some of them require keys and some of them don't but what i'm going to show you today and if you stick to the end of the video what you're going to find is an easy way to get your games and make sure that they're in a file type that you don't need keys for so stick around to the end of this so i'm going to show you real quick by opening up simu which is the emulator i'm going to show you that this works so i'm going to open up the emulator and you can see i'm going to refresh the game list so there's nothing here so everything that we do from now on, I'm going to show you that these games will populate and they will work. So I have two games here that we're going to look at. One of them, Barbie Dreamhouse Party. So we're going to take this game, we're going to extract it into our ROMs folder, but we use a little bit different. So I have mine on my SD card, so I'm going to go to Emulation, and then I'm going to go to the ROMs folder. And I'm going to go down, I'm going to find Wii U. Now within here, normally what you do is drop your ROM here, but... There's actually another ROMs folder that you have to drop them in. So we'll open that up. And now we'll just drop our game here. So I've got this in a zipped file. So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to extract it over here. So once this is done extracting, I want to show you one thing to make sure that you don't need a key in order to run this game. All right, now that that's done extracting, let's go into the game. And what you're going to find is that there's three folders. Now what this is is it's a decryptor so you don't actually need keys in order to run this game if you're having issues with your games look and make sure that inside the game folder you have a folder called code meta and content if we open up the code folder you're going to find the rpx file this is the actual game and everything else is going to help it run so if you don't have these then you're probably going to have issues getting your games to run all right so let's go back to our our roms folder now if i go over to simu and refresh the list, Barbie Dreamhouse pops up. So we know that this game is going to work. Now, jumping back over into our ROMs, I wanna show you one more thing. So if you have any kind of DLC or updates for games, you're gonna have two separate files. So let's go ahead and move uh, Twilight Princess over into our ROMs folder. So we'll copy that one there. All right, so then we'll go check our ROM. Opening it up, see we got our meta, content, and code folder. Open up the code. There's our RPX file, so we're good to go. Now, when it comes to any kind of updates, you actually want to go a folder back. So you'll go emulation ROMs, and then right inside the Wii U folder, we're going to drop our downloadable content, our DLC, or our update pack. So we'll take that, and we'll copy it over there. Now, if we go back, we have our update folder. Inside of our ROMs is our game folder. We're going to go over to SimU, refresh the list, We've got Twilight Princess right here. So these two games will run, but we have to install our update or our DLC to this game. And the way that we do that is we go to File, Install Game, Title, Update, or DLC. Now for me, I have it on my SD card, so I'm gonna click my computer and go to my SD card, which is Drive E, Emulation, ROMs, scroll over to Wii U, and there's our update pack. So we'll click that, open it, and then I already have it installed, so I'll just click yes, and then it's gonna download, and it tells you that it is installed. So now this game is updated with my update. Now one more thing that you wanna make sure that you do, and you only have to do this one time inside of Simu, is you wanna make sure that you go to your options and graphics packs. I already have this installed too, but you just go down here and click this one time, Download latest community graphics packs. And this is going to run and it's going to give you all the graphics packs for every game. Whether you have them or not. But only the installed games will show up as long as you have this check marked. So we see that Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess had a graphics pack. From here you can make modifications, enhancements. And they're different for every game. So you can make sure that your resolution is the, is the way that you need it to be. Native to the Steam Deck, it needs to be... 1280 by 800 or 16 by 10 so that is the best resolution for this game on the steam deck so we'll close that both of these games are going to work you do not need any keys for these as long as they are rpx files 
these are only applied to WUX or WUD files. And I'm going to show you at the end of this how you can run these games and make sure that you only have the RPX files. All right, so let's jump into game mode and see if these work. All right, so here we are in game mode. We're going to open up Emulation Station. And we're going to see if our Wii U games are here. So we'll go down. All right, so we've got Wii U there. It says that we have two games loaded, Barbie Dreamhouse and Legend of Zelda. So let's see if these work. So we'll go in there. There's our RPX file. We'll open that up. And it looks like it's launching. Looks like we're getting up to 60 frames per second. It did have a little bit of dip there for a moment, but that's all right. Looks like on the title screen, there's a little bit of glitching. But this may be just the game itself. And that quickly went away. All right, looks like it's loading. And we're still right up there at 58, 57 frames per second. And the game's loading. All right, so I can run around, talk to Ken if I want to. It's working. All right, so you can see that this is working. We've got Wii U playing on the Steam Deck. And as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make sure that you're getting the right files of games and making sure that they're the RPX files so you don't have to worry about all of the unnecessary stuff. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that you're getting the Wii U games and the RPX files so that way you don't have to worry about keys and things like that. Now, the only downside is that you can't do this on the Steam Deck. It does require a computer, so once you're on a computer, you just want to go to this website right here, and I have a link in the description. And there are a couple fake ones out there, so make sure that your yours looks the same as this. And you just want to go down here to USB Helper Installer.exe, and then click that. It's a really fast download, so as soon as it's done, you just want to click it, and it'll start to run. And before we click next, the only thing that we're going to do is make a folder on our desktop. Now you can do this anywhere, but I'm going to make it right here. And I'm just going to call it Wii U. That way I keep everything consistent. So I'm going to click next. And then I agree. That should default to the latest. Click next. And then this is where you want to change that path. So we'll click browse. And I'm just going to go click the Wii U folder. Hit OK. And you can see that it's there. So hit install and it's going to all install inside this one folder. I had a previous installation. That's all right. You may not see this. Click yes. All right. So yes, we want to run it as soon as it's finished. All right. So that's going to finish downloading. And then we're going to come to our language. So I'm in the USA, so I'm going to click that. And then I, I agree, and then click USA. And then click OK. We want to set, select a location for our games. It does recommend that you do not put it in program files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop, and then Wii U. And right here, I'm going to make a folder called Games. And then that's where I want to keep all of the games that I download. So right here, I cannot give you the title key, but if you search for it, you will find it and then click OK. This doesn't take very long at all, so this is going to load. And as soon as this is finished, then the USB helper is going to pop up and then we can start to look for our games. All right, so once that finishes, you're going to see the actual application pop up. And this is the very first thing that you want to do. You want to go over to the right to download manager. You can click that and it'll expand. And then go down here to unpack. So we want to make sure that we're in our games. Click select folder. And that's it. So that's, that's all set. You don't have to do that anymore. And then from the top, 
all you have to do is search for the game. So we're going to look for our games. Now, disclaimer, you should never download games that you don't already own. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to download Barbie Dreamhouse Party. Now, you'll notice that once I select that, it does not let me download. I have to add it to my download queue first. So we'll click that. It's now in our queue. We can start downloading. So that's going to go through and it's going to download this game. And then from there, all I'm going to do is take that and then put it into a folder on the Steam Deck and apply that to my ROMs, and then that's going to work. Now, if there were any games that had downloadable content or update packs, it would automatically prompt you to let you know that, hey, there's additional content. Would you like to download those also? And then you would select yes on those, and then they would download. All right, so if you found this valuable, hit like and subscribe so that more people can find it. And if you want to know about BIOS and ROMs, go ahead and click this video right here, and I'll see you there. Peace.